Okay, so this is a quick fix video I'm posting on YouTube for a lot of people out there who are using the Hori TAC 4 controllers to play Fortnite and are getting kicked out. Um, I've been all over YouTube, can't seem to find any solutions to this problem, um, but I did discover a solution on my own and hopefully this helps you out. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is the controller I'm talking about. It's made by H-O-R-I, Hori. It's called a TAC4 and a mouse. So apparently Fortnite has instituted some programming that prevents mouse and keyboard users from playing with handheld controller players. Um, and as you can see, I'm here in the lobby and here's the problem that us TAC4 controllers are running into. If you look in the top right, you see that the system is recognizing my mouse and keyboard as a controller. Okay, and then what happens is you go into the game and you play for about a minute, you run around, you pick up some weapons, and then the game kicks you out, giving you this error message saying input, input device doesn't match, unplug your gamepad, mouse and keyboard, and restart the game. So, I discovered that in order to get around this, you have to trick the game into thinking you have an actual conventional mouse and keyboard. So what I had to do is get a spare mouse, and I don't know if I can see my console down there, but anyway, I, I plug in a spare mouse into the second port of my PS4, and I'll show it right here. There's my spare mouse, there's my hoary mouse right there, and then there's the spare mouse. And you have to use this mouse to set up the game in the lobby. And I'll go back to the screen here and show you. And I'll zoom, on, zoom in on this icon. The moment I start moving this secondary mouse, this changes. Boom, look at that it changes into a mouse and keyboard icon. Okay. And so now what you have to do is you have to set up your game using that secondary mouse. You can go in and change from duos, solo mode, squads, whatever, using your mouse that you just plugged in. We'll just put it on soaring 50s. And then you hit play. Now you have to make sure you don't use your Hori controller because if you use your Hori controller, and I'll, I'll cancel this out real quick, and I'll zoom back into that icon. If you use your Hori controller in the lobby, like if I hit a key, boom, takes you right back to handheld controller, even though we're not using a handheld controller. So you have to use your mouse that you plugged in to get it back to mouse and keyboard and then when you go down to click play, it goes through matchmaking and it puts you into a game with other mouse and keyboard players. You have to do this because right now Epic did not put a selection in the game where you can actually select to go into mouse and keyboard servers. Um, so you have to kind of trick the game into thinking that you have a mouse and keyboard. Now once the game loads up, and we'll wait for it to load up here, you can go right immediately to using your Hori TAC controller without any problems and you don't get kicked out. Now the only thing you have to be careful of, okay so here I'm in the game, I'm using my Hori controller, I'm moving around just fine, Spawn Island, We'll go into a game and you won't get kicked out because right now I'm in a game with other mouse and keyboard users. I'm not in a game with controller users. Now what you have to be careful of is this secondary mouse that you plugged in, you want to set it aside and not bump it or use it because it's still plugged in. Now if you want to unplug it, you can. I think it's a hassle having to get up and unplug it all the time. So I just set it aside and then I just go right back to using my TAC4 no problem. Camera's falling on, falling on. Get back up here to the game. 
and it works just fine. I can get down the ground. But what happens if you use this secondary mouse that you just plugged in while the game's playing, I'll zoom in down here on my items. It'll do something kind of weird if I grab that second mouse and start moving around. Oh, now I'm in keyboard mouse mode and I got all kinds of weird stuff going on. So when you're playing the game, you want to make sure you set that mouse aside so you don't accidentally bump it and you know you could be aiming in on an enemy and you might mess up because you bumped that mouse and it moved you. So basically all it is is tricking the system into thinking that you actually have a mouse and keyboard because for some reason the game does not recognize these Hori controllers as conventional mouse and keyboard. It actually recognizes it as a handheld controller. Primarily because you can't do any kind of binding or anything with these keypads. You know, all it really does is it just moves the buttons from this to this. That's all it really does. I can't bind specific actions with this. So it's really not an advantage. Now the mouse, that's definitely an advantage. Everybody knows you can aim better with a mouse. You know, so it's not fair that I should be playing with people with handheld controllers. I should be playing with other people who have mouse and keyboard. So hopefully Epic will come up with some kind of fix for this for those of us who are using these keypad and mouse setups so that we don't have to use this other mouse to trick the system into thinking we're an actual conventional mouse and keyboard. Or maybe, maybe in the future we'll be able to actually select that particular lobby. Who knows? I sent emails to Epic, no responses. I even sent an email to the company that makes these controllers um, informing them of my little quick solution to this problem so hopefully they'll spread the word. So thanks for watching my video.